What's up guys, my name is Zan Perez and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing something that is pretty highly requested and I get this question a lot so I decided to make a whole video dedicated to it because it is a good question and it's kind of a hard question to just answer. Um, so I wanted to make this whole video about it, but before we get into this video, I wanted to just give a couple of quick announcements. I have a Discord server and we have a ton of people from this channel that are joined in the Discord server and if you aren't joined already, I would totally recommend doing that. It is so fun over there and I'm trying to be very active on the Discord, getting in a bunch of voice calls with you guys as well and meeting some of you guys, which is just so cool. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, definitely go check that out. It will be linked down in the description. I also have some merch, as a lot of you guys know, that you can get yourself over in the Roblox store and I'll put some pictures of it up on the screen right now. So if you guys like any of what you're seeing, that's also linked down in the description. That is under my Roblox group page. Um, so yeah, it's super affordable, and if you guys like any of what you're seeing, you can probably get it, and it supports me, and all the profits go back into making better videos for you guys. But without further ado, that's kind of all of the announcements that I had. Um, I'm super excited to make this video, actually, because I think it's it could be considered a somewhat controversial topic, but, you know, I do feel like there is a good majority of people that will probably agree with exactly um, what I'm saying, but again, it's your decision. Um, everything that you do in this game is ultimately your decision. I am just here as a player who has already kind of experienced a lot of these things in the game um, to just tell you what I think about some of this stuff. Um, also, in order to get your spirit pedals, I guess I should probably tell you guys, I know you read the title, but if you guys didn't read the title, this video um, is going to talk about how to spend your, um, your spirit pedals. And there's a bunch of videos out there how to get your spirit pedals. I'll touch on that a little bit in this video, but I didn't think I should cover that in this video because I think there are so many other videos out there that um, just explain that. But this video is going to be how to spend your spirit pedals um, and kind of what order you should spend them in as well. Um, but yeah, after all this talking, I'm going to do a couple of other stuff. The stuff that I always like to do in the beginning of my videos is stuff that I always recommend you try doing as frequently as possible. In Beast Worm Simulator, sometimes you're just going to be stuck at kind of hard points in the game, and what you should do during these times, even if you're kind of at a point where you're not super in love with the game because there's not an update, um, which I understand, I want the game to update too, but I would still always recommend just joining in at least once a day and doing some of this stuff, um, like claiming your free royal jellies, claiming your free blues, um, defeating your king beetle. Um, I try to defeat my king beetle all the time, especially to try to get a better king beetle amulet, which I never have any luck with, but um, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to kind of finish up doing some of this stuff, but this is just all stuff that you should be trying to do as frequently as possible because it will help make you a lot better in the game. But I'm going to be quiet here and then we'll just get right into this video. So now for the star of the video, we're going to head up here into the 35B zone and talk to Spirit Bear. So I actually have completed all the Spirit Bear quests for a very long time, but there are 30 Spirit Bear quests and after every 10, you will get a Spirit Petal. And these Spirit Petals are going to be amazing items for you and you can spend them on pretty much three different things. So we'll head down here and, oh no, the shop's not letting me open it. Oh, okay, I'm going to rejoin the game. Alright guys, so I'm back after that. That was weird. It, it, I don't know if I've ever really experienced that before, but anyways, this is um, kind of what you're supposed to spend your spirit petals on. Um, so let's kind of head over here. There are two items down here that you uh, can spend your spirit petal on. The petal one, um, and then there's also the petal belt. They are actually both, I would say, 
they're not cheap items because the crafting resources are somewhat expensive um, and it is hard to get that spirit pedal and that's kind of why I'm making this video because if you get your spirit pedal it's kind of a hard task and you want to make sure you're doing the right thing but so that was the pedal wand and now is the pedal belt that I'm showing you guys. This is a little bit more expensive, 15 billion, but it does have a passive ability. One downside of this is it is 100 glues to craft. So if you're trying to get your gummy boots or your gummy mask at the same time, it will kind of set you back a little bit. And that's the nice thing about the pedal wand is it does not require the um, glues to craft, but obviously you're gonna need to get it at some point. It's just a matter of when you get it. So, then the final place is you can donate a pedal to the wind shrine. Now, the benefit of donating this pedal to the wind shrine is you're gonna finally unlock the ability to get a windy bee. So there are a ton of videos out there as well um, explaining how to get the windy bee, and I would always recommend watching one of those videos because it is one of the somewhat more complex uh, just things in this game. Um, so you wanna make sure that you're doing it the right way. And then you're going to want to donate a ton of cloud vials. I've heard of people getting their Windy Bee in 200 cloud vials donated, and then I've heard of people spending over 700 and still getting nothing. So I'm going to head down here to my hive and look at my Windy Bee, actually. Windy Bee is such an amazing bee, and it really did change the mechanics of the game. The Windy Bee has some amazing stats. Um, and it really, really just helped um, improve white pollen in the game as well. So here's the Windy Bee right here. And my favorite ability on this Windy Bee is the Tornado for sure because it helps pick up tokens and that's super useful when boosting. It also does damage to other mobs, which is like a, another nice little perk. It's also great if you're doing sprouts because it can pick things up for you really fast, uh, which is always really nice. And then here is the passive ability that is on the pedal belt. And I honestly would have to say this passive is kind of a letdown to me. Um, it triggers every 30th boost token and has a cooldown of 30 seconds. However, it sounds really great if you read that, but it's just really not as good as you would hope for, or at least as I would hope for. And then the final thing is the pedal wand. So the pedal wand is absolutely amazing. I really like the pedal wand and it also does kind of unlock the ability to AFK honey in Bee Swarm Simulator, which is really great. So I'm sorry to all you mobile players, this might actually not be the most amazing item to you guys because I do think that its AFK potential is amazing. Um, and the developer of the game on it is totally fine with AFKing, um, just so you guys don't feel guilty about doing it. I think it is totally fine. But what you do, this is what I like to do. I kind of stand in the corner of a field, I put my sprinkler down, and doing this, it kind of condenses all your bees into one little area. And you can just swing your wand a bit, so I'd maybe get an auto clicker or something. Um, and then um, every time that your pedal kind of hits your bees, um, it'll send out a pedal every couple swings. Like I'm showing you guys right now, it will actually um, kind of instantly convert just a little bit of honey in your bag and your bag will still fill up, but it will never be 100% full and it will always have a little bit of room to still fill up, which is super great and that is what unlocks the AFK potential. But now for the real question of this video is which one do you do first? So in my opinion, I would say take your first pedal and donate it to the wind shrine. I know that might sound kind of weird, but I think that it's the best thing that you can do because Windy Bee is so good and once you donate this pedal to the wind shrine, um, you can just start donating your cloud vials um, to the wind shrine to try to get your Windy Bee. Um, in order to get a Windy Bee, you can also get one from the wind shrine by donating around one star jelly usually which is super nice and depends how good you do but you could probably even get um you know upwards of like eight or nine cloud vials in just one uh windy bee which is great so definitely start working on that and then second i would definitely go for the pedal one just because it unlocks that afk ability it's amazing it's slightly more affordable and it doesn't cost as many clues and then last i would get the pedal belt um and it is hard to get that final pet uh spirit pedal so definitely get this one last it's just i think it's cool and it has some good buffs but the passive ability on it is just not that great and it doesn't convert as much in your bag as you would kind of think it would for that price so that's just my opinion now of course it is a better belt which is obviously great and you want to have all the best items in the game for your avatar to make uh just to make sure that you are as powerful as possible 
Um, but yeah, that's kind of my order. Let me know down in the comments below if you agree with this order, um, because it's kind of hard to tell uh, you guys exactly what order you should get it in. Um, if you don't want to donate your spirit pedal to the wind shrine first, then I would probably do it second and get yourself the pedal one first, but it kind of just depends. But with all of that being said, that's where I'm going to end off today's video. Please be sure to go join the Discord, come chat with me and the rest of the community. Also, go pick yourself up some merch if you like any of that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.